can interrupt when you want. I'm not going to shout at you, I'll take your question. But look, did Jesus rise from the dead? Okay? Now, he said he would. Ready? This is where he said he would. This is what Jesus said he'd do. Ready? He said, the Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men. That's the crucifixion. They will kill him. That was Calvary. And after three days, he will rise. The question is, if you want to take a step in, folks, if you've got to know by a van for, please do so. The question is, did he rise from the dead? Now, what I'd like you to do is think it through. Okay? The first thing is we've got to work out that he lived. All right? So I'm going to put this little thing on the board. Ready? So this is non-Christian history. And notice what it says. About this time, there lived Jesus. All right, so we're asking the question, did Jesus rise from the dead? And he said he would, and we're looking at the historical facts. Move in if you want, you can be the jury, I'll just put this on the board, all right? So Josephus said, about this time, there lived Jesus. All right, so you're all happy that he turned up. If you're not happy, I'll put some more information on for you. Here we go, look at this. This has got to be the most boring document you'll ever see in your life. It's worse than the plane for your driving license. Look at that one. That is the history of England. All right? And now we've got King Charles. Right? King Charles down here, the House of Windsor. But guess who's at the top? JC. And JC stands for Julius Caesar and Jesus Christ. Okay? You've got that. Now, he lived. It's easy to work that out. He actually lived. And then he died. We know he died because the Romans did it. Okay. The question is, did he rise? Now look, who had his body? If you don't believe he rose from the dead, ladies and gentlemen, answer this question. Who had the body of Jesus? Alright? So this is what we're doing. got two minutes to stop. Who had the body of Jesus? Now lots of people say to me you've no evidence so I'm going to say to you explain this all right so I will say to you somebody's got to have his body now ready the Jews did not have his body you know why the Jews didn't have his body because Jews won't touch a dead body at a Passover so that's easy isn't it so they won't go near him. And remember, for 33 years, they wanted Jesus in the tomb. They didn't want him out. Second group of people. Put that there for now. The Romans didn't have his body. Do you know why I know the Romans didn't have his body? Because they could have just wheeled it on, couldn't they? And said, Christianity is dead. We've got the body. So stop saying Jesus is alive, because we've got the body. And they could have just brought it on. But they never did. So why didn't they? Here's another group. Ready? The disciples didn't have his body. And the reason you know the disciples didn't have his body is because apart from one of them, they all gave their lives saying Jesus was risen. And if you had his body and gave your life saying Jesus was risen, but you had his body, that'd be absurdity. Wouldn't it? Because you've got his body. That'd be throwing your life away. So just to recap quickly, Jesus said he'd rise. There he is, he said he'll rise. History says he lived. But who had his body when they went to the empty tomb? Now, the question is, where's his body? You know what you can do? You can meet him. Let me ask you a question. Do you think I've ever had a dad? What do you think? Do you think I've got a dad? Or had a dad? Do you think I've had a dad? And how much would you be willing to bet that I've had a dad? A million million. Why does that man think I've got a dad? The answer is because he knows I'm here, I've got a dad. But here we go, look sir. 
if my dad walked down this precinct now, would you know who he is? It could be him, couldn't it, for all you know? <laughs> it could be him. But I'll be changing my name if that's the case. But if you, oh, you're far too good looking. Now look, here's the point, right? You know I've got a dad, but I know my dad. Somebody might believe in God, but when you become a Christian, you come to know God as a friend. Isn't that good? Now, do you know him? Is he your friend? Because this Jesus has conquered the grave. And do you know why people don't want Jesus to come out the tomb? Because if they do, they're in trouble. You think about it. If Jesus came out the tomb, death is not the end. And secondly, he's no ordinary man. Because ordinary men stay in tombs. But Jesus said he'd rise, and you can come to know him. If you'd like to know how, come and have a chat. Have a lovely afternoon. Have you got a question? The gentleman with the plastic bag, yes. I am. Thank you for your question. All right, the gentleman's question is how long did it take me to be a Christian? The answer is about four years. And that anybody here, the Bible says, whoever you are, if you come to Christ and receive him, you're in. So the answer is yes and yes. Can you ask me a harder question, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. Well, you've got a lot of skin. Oh, but I've got a lot of hair. I don't know. No, the last one. Go on. The last question. Yes. You come in, probably you're always in the open air. Not always. I do a lot of street work. Yeah. All my asking is, is that why you're so happy? No, I think I'm happy because on the inside I've got life. I've not a lot of reason to be happy, you know, because I've got a sister who's got a terminal illness and a brother with heart.